hi guys welcome to today's session and today we are going to discuss about carbon pricing it is a very important concept related with environment and uh, in this session we will first see uh, what is carbon pricing and uh, then we will discuss what is the need for carbon pricing and then we will see uh, major types of carbon pricing and also uh, finally we discuss uh, what are the issues or problems with the carbon pricing so that's how i plan this session let's now start firstly we will see what is carbon pricing carbon price is a cost put on carbon pollution to nudge polluters to lower the amount of greenhouse gas uh, they release into atmosphere so uh, carbon pricing is an effective way to encourage countries to reduce uh, their greenhouse gas emissions the cost of carbon pollution are heavily skewed against future generations as they are the ones who suffer uh, most because of the effects of pollution so the idea behind carbon pricing is to distribute this cost more evenly across generations rather than the cost being borne disproportionately by the future generations so economists also believe that um, climate change is a market failure since the cost and risk associated with the climate change are not adequate reflected in market prices so carbon pricing is a method to internalize the cost of future environmental damage by putting a price on the thing that causes it namely carbon emissions so carbon pricing is the method uh, adopted uh, by putting a price on the carbon emissions so carbon pricing apart from encouraging people and businesses to reduce greenhouse gas emissions uh, it also generates a finance for activities that can contribute to cleaning up the atmosphere and environment for instance the carbon cost collected by the government can be spent on research into fuel cells etc and also it is generally the external cost of carbon pollution uh, the carbon pricing is generally external cost of uh, carbon pollution that is price borne by the public for example damage to crops health problems droughts flooding etc so rather than imposing and dictating uh, who should reduce emissions or how arbitrarily a carbon price allows polluters to transform their activities into more sustainable and green activities so that so that their carbon costs are reduced and uh, it can help transform an economy into a decarbonized economy so that is uh, the very basic idea about the carbon pricing uh, now we will discuss what is the need uh, for carbon pricing carbon pricing helps express carbon emissions in monetary terms which makes it relatively simpler for businesses to incorporate this figure into their financial planning and strategies and also it helps shift the burden of damage back to those who are responsible for it and who can reduce it and carbon price as a planning tool helps identify revenue opportunities and risk to reduce cost emissions and guide capital investment decisions for businesses it can uh, mean gradually transforming into a greener and a sustainable model which in all likelihood is the way for the future so that is uh, the reasons behind the need for uh, carbon pricing and uh, there are uh, different types of carbon pricing methods we will now see what are the major types of carbon pricing there are basically two broad ways to establish a carbon price one is carbon tax that is uh, this is levied by the regulator or government on activities and products which entail a carbon cost for example government could levy a carbon tax on distribution sale or use of fossil fuels this will drive the cost of these fuels and associated activities up and encourage businesses to switch to greener options and uh, second one is emissions trading or emissions cap and trade approach and under this approach uh, the total permissible emissions of a country or a region are set in advance or capped so within a region also companies uh, total emissions can be capped and countries or companies as the case may be can trade emissions permits uh, with one another this will introduce a market for pollution that should uh, see it uh, that uh, the carbon savings are made as cheaply as possible and uh, there is another emissions trading system apart from the cap or trade model uh, this is called baseline and credit systems here baseline emissions levels are defined for regulated entities and credits are given to the entities that have decreased their emissions below the baseline so these credits can be sold to other entities that have exceeded their baseline emissions level and indirect methods of incorporating 
a carbon price include removing subsidies on fossil fuels fuel taxes and having laws and regulations uh, that could include a social cost of carbon so these are the uh, methods or major types of uh, carbon pricing and uh, now we'll see what are the issues or problems with the carbon pricing methods although many economists opine that the carbon pricing is the way forward to address climate change issues some argue against this approach so uh, we'll see what are those uh, one argument is that uh, carbon pricing views climate change as a market failure rather than as system problem uh, climate change is framed as the consequence of a market failure that can be rectified by placing a price on carbon so that actors also pay for the social cost of their carbon intensive activities and reduce their demand for such goods and services the problem with uh, this uh, is that it fails to see climate change problem in its entire depth and uh, expands they argue that fundamental changes to the systems are needed to address this issue and this approach places more emphasis on efficiency rather than uh, effectiveness and uh, to address climate change for example to limit global warming to less than 1.5 degrees celsius there is hardly any time to reach carbon neutrality and carbon pricing by allowing polluters to choose abatement options that are the most cost effective for them basically allow polluters to go for the low hanging fruit this is not enough to address the issue of climate change which is urgent and widespread so it is an, uh, another point is that it is unclear uh, how carbon pricing is uh, pushing the research and development of uh, low carbon technologies or innovations and also uh, next point is that carbon pricing ignores the political realities that is how politicians and policy making is linked to influences uh, that uh, big corporations and businesses wield on them these polluting actors uh, can influence policy making in such a manner that uh, to reduce the cost associated with the carbon emissions or weaken the stringency of carbon pricing for themselves so these are uh, the problems or criticisms against carbon pricing and uh, it is a very important topic uh, it can be asked in the mains and as well as in the prelims also uh, the types of carbon pricing methods are uh, important in, from the prelims perspective also so please study about this guys we'll meet tomorrow with another topic thank you for watching this lesson